For the funeral of her father Prince Philip, Princess Anne took on the somber task of walking behind the hearse in a break from royal tradition. The role is usually restricted to male members of the royal family. However the Princess Royal walked at the head of the column alongside Prince Charles. Princess Anne had a close relationship with the Duke of Edinburgh and was often rumoured to be his favourite child, due to their mutual interests and similar personalities. The list reported, Princess Anne was devastated by the death of her father, as was the rest of the royal family. Anne notably walked behind her father's casket during his funeral procession. A break from tradition as the somber task is typically restricted to men, according to CBS News. After the funeral, she further honored her father by sending personalized notes to those who had offered their condolences. As noted by PureWow, the cards carried her monogram and a message reading The Princess Royal thanks you for your kind thoughts and sends you best wishes for the future. Following the announcement of his death on April 9, the Duke's only daughter released a touching statement to the royal family website. She said, You know it's going to happen but you are never really ready. My father has been my teacher, my supporter and my critic, but mostly it is his example of a life well lived and service freely given that I most wanted to emulate. His ability to treat every person as an individual in their own right with their own skills comes through all the organizations with which he was involved. We will miss him but he leaves a legacy which can inspire us all. Related videos Princess Anne, very much her father's daughter, says expert Prince Philip had a close relationship with his daughter, and the two shared a mutual love for sport and a strong sense of duty towards the monarchy. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, the Duke was regularly seen supporting Princess Anne at her equestrian competitions, and would later praise his daughter's hard-working ethic. Other members of the royal family who walked behind the casket included Prince Edward and Prince Andrew, as well as Prince William, Prince Harry and Peter Phillips. In an interview ahead of the funeral, the Duke of York described his father as the grandfather of the nation. Prince Philip passed away peacefully at Windsor Castle with the Queen at his bedside, following a period of ill health. According to Prince Andrew, the Queen said the death of her husband of seven decades had left her with a huge void in her life. In line with Prince Philip's desire for minimal fuss, he was given a royal ceremonial service instead of a state funeral, which took place at St. George Chapel on April 17. The Duke's coffin was carried by a custom-built Land Rover Defender hearse that the Prince had helped design and the funeral service reflected his lifelong commitment to the British Armed Forces and the Royal Navy. Related articles Prince Charles says Buckingham Palace gardener sparked nature love Princess Anne's close childhood bond with Prince Charles revealed Queen's royal schedule. Four senior royals picked to aid Queen.